Alright guys, welcome to my second vlog. I'm not really sure what to upload right now, but uh, I just thought I'd do another vlog, so let's get into it. Alright, so what I've been doing lately, I've been doing a lot of fishing. I was fishing with my neighbor a lot this or last week, and uh, we did pretty good. I didn't bring the GoPro though, that's the only thing. But uh, another thing I've been doing lately is organizing my tackle. I know that what I'm about to show you right here is not really the most organized. But um, I just got some new things, so I mean, there's a lot of garbage around here. But I mean, yeah, this is like my scrap bin right here, but I mean, but I mean, but I mean, but I mean, that's all I keep saying, I'm sorry. But, I got some new things, if you guys want to see it, I'll just show it to you real quick. Where's my tackle box now? This is bad. There it is. Alright, now, let me show you guys what I got. I got these swim bait heads right here because uh, I really want to get into swim bait fishing this summer. It's late spring, so got those. Those are a quarter ounce, and I got these uh, shaky heads. I'm all out of shaky heads. Those are quarter ounce and green pumpkin. I don't really like prefer green pumpkin. I don't really know what the difference is to be honest. All I know is that that's all they had, and I needed shaky heads, so I took them. I bought them. Uh, quarter ounce uh, bullet weights. Not really that much money for tungsten, so. I just got lead, got a uh, another chatterbait, I was all out of chatterbaits believe it or not, so I just got a green pumpkin one, and uh, let me show you guys what I use for the trailers, I use the PTL 4.5 inch grub and the green pumpkin light blue swirl, and uh, these are really good trailers for this, it looks like a bluegill, it mimics a bluegill in the water I think, so that's what I use for that, and this right here is like my little station I use. It's like supposed to be like a gardening table slash flayed table slash outdoor table or some sort. But uh, I use this for my fishing stuff. So got some anchors, some trolling motor boxes, uh, cutting board. And this is just all my tackle. Another thing I've been doing is dyeing my baits. So I got some Spike It Garlic Dipping Glow. And another thing I've been using is this Spike It Garlic Dipping Glow Marker. As you can see, it's got a chartreuse and orange end on it oh what what's what's this oh, another new rod huh Fenwick Silverhawk I got they're on sale Cabela's so is this the new one no this is the new one right here so both of my Silverhawks now if I can get this undone you're kidding me sorry my garage is a freaking mess we just had a, a garage sale for like the city our city had like a citywide rummage sale and we had one as a family, so here it is. Canaan Silverhawk Reaction Innovation Swim Bait with new jig head. Uh, seven foot meme heavy. So um, this is our, one of my favorite rods right now. Actually, it is my favorite rod. So oh, and uh, yeah, that happened too. So this kind of made me angry. Seven foot meme heavy carbon light is probably like a six four now, as you guys can see. 6.4 carbon light, and uh, there's the other um, 8 inches of her, and the ducket, the ducket snap, the ducket is done boys, she had a good run, but uh, we have to leave her behind, probably going to end up sending the ducket back, mostly because there is a warranty on it, I'm not sure how long the warranty is actually, but uh, I'm going to see if I can return that and get some money back for it. But I also have another, do have another broken rod, the uh, Mojo Bass. That snapped on me, that was probably like three, four years ago, but it's just the tip snapped off of it, but it still works fine. I mean, it's probably just like, it's like the last guide, so that's the only thing that came off that. Here's like my swim bait box. This is like a little drawer I found downstairs. But it's got all my swim baits, flukes, type deal in here. All that fun stuff. Ooh, another fun thing is I wanted to tell you guys is that I caught my first swim bait bass actually, believe it or not. I, uh, let me show you which one I caught it on. Right here's a swim bait I caught it on. It's a Kitek 4.8 inch swinging impact fat, I want to say. I think that's what they're called. But it's in a bluegill flash color, but as you guys can see, I colored the side orange and I colored the tail with a black sharpie to mimic a baby bass because there's a lot of baby bass around there. So I thought, man, this will maybe make it look like something. But I didn't catch it when I had the orange on it. I just like colored the orange on it after I caught the bass because it was getting pretty beat up. So 
that is that, and I just want to share that with you guys. I thought that was pretty cool. I was pretty proud of myself. I never caught a bass on a swim bait before. Actually, like trying, I caught one like just messing around, you know. But I've never actually caught one trying to catch a bass on a swim bait. But this one right here, the sick fish by in Ghost IU by Havoc. That's what I want to catch a fish on. So very bad. That's that's a big swim bait. So if I'm gonna catch one on that, it's gonna be big. But another thing is. I want to catch another fish, or at least one fish, I should say, on this Storm Wild Eye Live Sunfish. I have three of them, or I had three of them, lost one, colored on the orange part of the marker with on the throat of it, and I colored the tail chartreuse. Because it, it was, like, colored in, but it wasn't really, like, all the way colored in. It was just, like, really faint, so I wanted it to glow pretty good, so. I've been doing that with Cinco's, too, coloring the tail orange. I don't know, I've just been going nuts with it. I mean, I think they work better when you do that but that's just me trying to mess around try to experiment with some things so it's been working for me so far so what i want you guys to do for me is i want you guys to comment if you swim bait fish at all fish with swim baits for bass and uh if you do comment your favorite swim bait below if you made it this far in the video comment your favorite swim bait that you use and the one that you have the most luck with now the main forage for me in wisconsin here is bluegills and perch so if you guys have any suggestions for me that you want to like give me for swim bait fishing, any tips, tricks, tactics, or whatever you guys do for swim bait fishing, make sure to let me know because I really want to get into swim bait fishing. I know Wisconsin is like not the best state for it. Mostly because the bass don't get very big here. Uh, I caught my six pounder and I think that's like probably the best I'm going to do for a while yet at least. But I mean, if you guys could leave me some comments and some tips, that'd be great. I want to know what the best swim bait is for the money because I'm kind of on a budget right now. And I'm kind of cheaping out, but I just got done with graduation, so I'm going to have some more money to spend on fishing stuff. So let me know your favorite swim bait and the best one for the money. The other thing is I need, like, this vlog is probably all over the place right now. I mean, I'm, like, going all over the place. I mean, what do you know, though? I mean, I'm trying to get ideas. And it's kind of nasty out right now. I mean, it's nice, oh, yeah, but, I mean, the skies are, like, all clouded up and whatnot, as you guys can see. But, um, the skies have been good last week. The weather's been pretty good. Um, we got rained on fishing on Monday, but, or was that Tuesday? We got rained on Monday or Tuesday, but we got, we did pretty good. And the rest of the week was really good, actually. Went to Little Cedar, caught 22. We were fishing sand flats and stuff. But that was a good day, fishing shaky heads with the, um, Power Team Lures, if I can find that, where that, right here. Power Team Lures Finicky Tickler Worm on a shaky head. It's like a green pumpkin, light blue swirl colored. It's the five inch one, and then they dyed the tail chartreuse, of course. Yeah, they tie dye your tail chartreuse if you want some success. This lake's really clear, so I mean, it, it wasn't necessary, but I mean, it worked. So why mess with it? But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed the vlog, make sure to give me a thumbs up on the video. Comment, like I said, your favorite swim baits to use. And, um, I'm not talking just, like, plastic paddle tail ones. I want, like, the big, like, I don't want to go any bigger probably than six inches. I'm ordering a Savage Gear, or is it a, I think it's a Savage Gear, one from Bass Pro, so. And a baby bass card. So, if you guys want to see that unboxing, make sure to let me know, too. I'm probably going to end up doing it because you guys like to see them and uh, you, you guys like to see what I get. So like I said, if you guys enjoyed the like, or the, if you guys enjoyed the like, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, the vlog, make sure to hit that like button. And uh, yeah, comment your favorite swim baits so I can probably look into them and pick them up. See you guys later.